Guys, we are off to get falafel. and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you follow me on social media, you will know by now that I am literally obsessed with falafel. Like if I don't go a week without a falafel, it's not okay. Today's episode is all gonna be about the best falafels here in Melbourne. I asked you guys on Instagram to vote for what you think is the best falafel. I've picked five of them based off that list and I'm gonna go check them out. When I go to eat somewhere, I always like to rate it based on these three things. Taste, very important. Texture, we don't want a dry falafel and also value, I think that's really important as well. So we're gonna hit the road and uh, come on, come with us. First stop on our tour is Bam Bam. We have trekked it out to Cheltenham. Is that how you say it? Cheltenham? Cheltenham, like Buckingham, my surname, but not. Well, I'll tell you the context of the story. There's been a rise in STIs in New South Wales and a subsequent decline in the use of condoms at the same time, particularly among people aged 15 to 29. Looks so good. Awesome, thank you. Let's go. All right, friends, stop one on our falafel tour today is Bam Bam Eatery. We are here in Cheltenham and I've actually never been here, so I'm super excited. This is my first time trying their falafels. I did order the falafel plate, but he has gone ahead and said I should definitely get the pita pocket instead. So I have swapped my order for that. And these guys actually recently went all plant-based, which is super exciting. The only thing on the menu that isn't plant-based is the cow's milk, but I am so hungry and I think my order is on its way. Let's go. Alright, so I am going to try the fluffle by itself. They have given us some knives and forks, but if you're like me, just go all in. That is like a fire explosion in my mouth. That is so good and so garlicky. Oh, so crunchy as well. You could probably almost hear the crunch, but now I'm gonna try it in the pita pocket because I feel like most of the time people are gonna order it like this. Excuse me, it's like gob on here. Mm. This is so good, love it. First of all, can we just talk about how cool this is? I love the fact it's served in this. It makes it super convenient because half the time when you order a pita and you get it, you're like, what do I do with that? I need to go to the bathroom. Time for the reveal of the review. Let's talk about the taste. Taste is really, really important. There's so much garlic going on here. I love it. It is so flavorsome. There's lots of flavors and lots of delicious aromatic, is that an aromatic? flavors going on. In terms of what comes in the pita, there's pickles, there's fresh herbs, there's chili sauce, all my favorite things. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it five out of five for a taste. That is a huge score for the first time. In terms of texture, guys, texture is really important. We definitely don't want a dry falafel, but also we don't want a too moist falafel. Moist is a word we are, will be using this vlog, get used to it. Personally, in my opinion, I think these are a little bit too wet. I don't like my falafel dry, but I don't like it too wet either. So in terms of textures, um, I'm gonna give it, let's say 3.5 out of five, just because I feel like it does crumble a little bit. And for me personally, that's not my bad. Overall value, this pita pocket is $13. It is huge, it is jam packed. So I reckon that's a pretty good value and the plate's 17. A lot of their pickles they make in house here so I can definitely appreciate that for value. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it four out of five for value. If you do wanna buy the falafel by itself, they do serve them. They're only $2, which is pretty good as well. I would recommend picking up one, two, maybe. Just get 10, get 10. Restaurant number two. All right team, we are at spot number two on this tour. We have headed to the west and we're here in Yarraville at Advies Falafels. This place has only been open a year. I have been meaning to check it out for so long. So this is, again, my first time here. We have gone ahead and ordered the pita pocket and also two individual falafels to give the ultimate falafel test. But already I'm loving this vibe, how good. So this is the pita pocket that we ordered. I did think it was gonna come as like what, something that we had at the last place, but it's come more of like as a wrap. They did offer to cut it in half, so I'm sure you can do that as well. But this one is $11, and then it is $2 each per falafel. I 
I just tried the falafel by itself and oh my gosh, check out the flavors in there and all the delicious herbs. You can see it's a really herby falafel. Now I'm gonna give the pita a taste and um, then we'll do the review. Mm. It's like that moment when the falafel hits the lips. Mm -mm -mm. Love it. The texture of this, to me, is pretty much perfect. Like, that doesn't fall apart. You can see all the delicious herbs in there. It's crunchy, it's crispy, it's oily, just as you want it. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a five out of five. I know that's generous, but that is like the ultimate falafel for me. In terms of taste with the wrap, I think it is a bit moisty. Like there's a lot of wetness going on in here. It's got some tabbouleh, it's got some slaw, but that's kind of it. Um, there's no like pickles or other things going on. So I'm gonna give it a three and a half. In terms of value, I think it's really good value. $11 for this, like that's a hearty meal. That's good. But two dollars for these, I think again could be it's a bit pricey because knowing me, I'm probably gonna need about eight of these. So, all right, friends, we are here in Coburg, and so many of you told me that I had to check out Half Moon. It doesn't have a huge social media presence, so that's probably why I didn't know about it as much as the others. Um, but I'm super excited to give this one a go. It's meant to be really authentic cheap and delicious. So I know you're probably thinking, am I sick of falafel yet? And there's only one way to find out, any more falafel. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Guys, a bird almost just ate. Oh my god, I hate birds, I actually hate birds. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't. That is so, that's like the crispiest one I've had. Yum. Oh, this is so good. Please try, cameraman, please try. <laughs> Why is it so good? It's so good. So this is the pita that you order. We got ours chopped in half because Alex now all of a sudden likes falafels. So we just got the $9 falafel wrap, but you can get bougie ones where they add extra ingredients. We of course naturally added chili, but you don't have to. But if you don't like chili, I highly recommend getting into it because it's like, if you like chili, I feel like you're a cool person. Just saying. Anyway, let's do the taste test. Okay, when they say chili, they mean chili. <laughs> Someone get me water. That is really nice, like super fresh and not too moist. How many times have I said moist now? <laughs> Three. Bing! Yum, delicious. The fact I'm going for another bite, that's a good sign. All right, guys, I just finished my wrap. Yes, I'm not sick of falafel yet. It's gonna be a really tough one to review. I think in terms of value, it has to get five out of five. It was so good. The fact that you can pick these up for a dollar, that is an absolute bargain. And the fluffer wrap was $9, which is really good value. Again, it's not really bougie, but it's got enough in it to be substantial. And I reckon I'd be super full if I just ate one full one of them. So in terms of taste, it tastes incredible in the wrap. I actually loved it with the chili. Um, but by itself, like whilst the texture is incredible, I don't think there's as much flavor as I would have liked. I don't know what's missing, but maybe it's the fact that it's made with raw beans and not chickpeas. So I'm gonna give it Three. And in terms of texture, I'm sorry, but it's going to have to get a five out of five. It is so good and so country and not dry at all. Uh, and for a dollar, you can't go wrong. I just found out as well that these ones are made with broad beans, not chickpeas, which is the Egyptian way of making them. And these guys have been here for 18 years. He said that they don't have much advertising on social media, but I love that. It's real local. It's real good and damn delicious. Stop number four on this trip and I have been here so many times actually used to live right there. So during lockdown I literally ate at Tahina Bar almost every single day. Well I got takeaway every single day. So let's go in and check it out. Welcome 
Welcome to their amazing courtyard. I love, love, love it out here. It feels like you're literally at someone's house just in their backyard. It's super local and we've got the whole place to ourselves. Okay guys, I have been here many times, so I know that I do love this place. And if I was rating it on their vibe, such a good vibe. I love this courtyard. I would love to come and hang out here. They actually have two of these. There's one in Northcote, but we are here in Fitzroy at the Tahina Bar. It is an Israeli uh, food restaurant and they are all vegetarian, but mostly vegan. Guys, I'm gonna run you through what we have. We ordered the green falafel pita pocket, which looks humongous and delicious. I also ordered a side of chili sauce. I was thinking it was gonna come on the falafel, but it didn't. This is their homemade green chili sauce. It is $1.50, but you get a heap. If you like chili, definitely order it. I also ordered the individual falafel because that's what we're doing. This is actually the chili falafel though. I wanna show you guys that. And I also just asked for some sauerkraut on the side and I got a whole plate, which was free. So this entire thing cost me $14. So this is the chili falafel, but inside the pita pocket, I do have the green ones. Didn't fall apart, which is great. That's inside there. Obviously the green ones are green. I've eaten this many times. Actually, the reason I do love these ones as well, because this is only a dollar for this and it comes with tahini as well, which a lot of the other places didn't have. so good and it's a little bit dry though okay so this is the pita pocket it has the green falafels on it I've also added some of the hot sauce which is a dollar fifty and you get free sauerkraut as well I'm not gonna be able to get my mouth around this <laughs> blooper I don't mean it sexually I just mean I just mean look how big it is I had jaw surgery guys all right here we go I'm gonna have to go for another bite just to get all the flavor. Mm. It's good. It's really good. In terms of ingredients, what's inside, it's just like tomato, cucumber, um, some herbs and onion as well. And I feel like there's a lot of fluffles in here. It's quite heavy. Okay, let's rate it, rate it, rate it, rate it. Taste, texture and value. I think for value, it is so good. That is a dollar falafel and it comes with tahini. That's the best we've seen so far. The fact that you can obviously add sauerkraut for free is a big tick in my opinion. So value, I'm gonna give four and a half out of five. In terms of texture, even though I do love these falafels, it is a little bit dry and Alex even agreed uh, now that he eats falafels. And we dipped it in the tahini, which obviously made it a bit more bearable, but by itself, I feel like it could be quite dry. So I'm gonna give it three and a half for texture. And in terms of taste, there is a lot of flavor. Despite being dry, yeah, there's a lot of flavor in these, especially the chili ones. So I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it four out of five for taste. All right guys, we are at stop number five. This is the final spot on this tour. Uh, it is at Just For Laughs. I actually live around the corner from here. I love this place, I get it all the time. It's gonna be really good to compare it to the other places that we've been today. I may or may not turn into a fluffle at any moment. I am so full and feel so fluffed out, um, but we're gonna go in and order some more fluffles. We have ordered the $11 pita pocket with hot sauce, of course, I'm sure you know that by now. And we also ordered an individual falafel just for the falafel taste test. So I'm gonna go ahead and crack this one. It's like cracking an egg, right? This is a vegan, <laughs> vegan egg. Nice and crispy, you can feel it. It's nice and warm as well. Ooh, she's steamy. Look at the textures in there. Crunchy is one of my favorite textures, so I'm super excited to tuck into this one. Oh, it's so warm. It's good. And now for the pita test. To be honest with you, I get this all the time, but I usually get the falafel and the salad, so I actually have never had one of these pita pockets. And I'm super impressed that it comes with pickle and lots of colorful ingredients too. Whoa, I nearly lost a falafel. Again, another huge pita. This is massive. I'm not gonna say it, I'm not gonna say it. Mm, 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 mm. All right guys, next up we're gonna rate it on its taste. Very important. Um, lots of flavor combos going on here, heaps in this pita, considering this is $11. Um, really impressed with all the flavors and the chili they make here is incredible as well. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a four and a half out of five for taste. So good and 
yeah, the flavor of the fluffle, love it. In terms of texture, this is, in my eyes, a pretty perfect falafel. It's really crunchy. There's still like lots of crunchy bits of chickpea in there and the texture on the outside is nice and crispy and it's quite big as well. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a four and a half out of five for texture. Next up, we're gonna rate it on its value. This Peter Pocket was $11 and it was pretty massive. Uh, it did come with that amazing juicy pickle as well and an individual falafel will cost you $1.50, which is quite good. It doesn't come with any tahini, um, which is a bit of a shame, but it's pretty good considering the size. So I'm gonna give it, in terms of value, I'm gonna get four and a half as well. I think it's pretty well priced for what you get. So guys, we're done. And I think I've eaten maybe eight forms today and I still love them. It has come to the end of our falafel crawl and I'm crawling my way to the camera right now because I am so full of falafel. I feel so full, but so content. Oh such a hard decision to make who has the best falafel from today's tour gosh can we get a drum roll please it is gonna have to be just for laughs you guys absolutely nailed the falafel just because today we're basing it on the falafel but if you guys want somewhere to check out i highly highly recommend bam bam there's such a good vibe there the owner is lovely i love what they're doing and they're so passionate about plant-based eating and it's just such a good experience so go to bam bam but for today it goes to just laughs honestly it was a really hard decision nowhere had bad falafels and you guys will be really excited to know that alex our cameraman actually likes falafels now. I regretfully have something to announce. After today's crawl, I am, yeah, I'm quitting falafel for today. Yeah, for the rest of the day. <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow because I have so many leftovers. Um, if you guys love this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and let me know what you'd like me to review next because today's been really, really fun. Um, and don't forget to tag me if you try any of the falafels. Let me know, where's your favorite falafel here in Melbourne? Thanks guys.